Welcome to Sagittarian. This is a Pisces season. The season run from the 19th until the 20th of March. So it's from February 19th until the 20th of March. I want to say welcome to each and every person. Thank you for being here. I hope you will stay with us. Please thumbs up and subscribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is happening and transpiring. So you have the energy of the star, the major arcana. That has to do with Uranus. And uh, um, then you have... Uh, so. The star energy is 17 and 3 is 20 and 4, 24. 24 is 6. 6 is materialistic stability. A lot of you, Sagittarius, is going to be using the energy of uh, um, the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn people in order to balance out your materialistic abundance and prosperity. So this is good because you, Sagittarian, is leaving the fire energy and using the the hurt energy in order to balance a whole lot of situations. So remember, you have 24-6. 24-6 is about, 6 is about materialistic stability. So there is a lot of hurt bound energy. The energy that you're dealing with with the first week and write these sweets number down. Um, this period for you, uh, Sagittarius, is going to be good. Because you and the Pisces share the, it's same, the same numerology. And whenever you are in a frequency vibration of a season where the season, same um, savior, the same numerology, it's going to be helping you. And if you notice, these are helping situation that is going to be coming in. So the energy of the star and this energy of the star is talking about... Uh, um, Uranus. What is Uranus? Uranus is about group of people. It's about uh, um, situation on the work floor. That some of you could be working in an international corporation and some sort of a situation on the work floor where um, things could have been out of ray, out of balance, however you look at it. But what is going to be transpiring when the energy of Uranus comes up is about, you know, dealing with large group of people. And this is about situation on the work floor. Could be that you're a social media person and that sort of a thing. Some sort of a situation is going to be coming up between you and social media. So look out for that because you're going to be having that where, um, you know, people are going to be recognizing um, what is happening in transpiring. So it can be a situation where a lot of you are dealing with social media, things about social media, things about transition with group of people um, and problems with group of people, but it is not an end. Some of you, some sort of a collaboration that you are taught is going to be happening, might not be happening. And that is okay because I see you guys are still going to be pushing through and still going to be doing what you have to do. So I see a lot of you recognize that you work with a group of people and, uh, um, you know, maybe they don't want to um, be as teamwork and you're going to be thinking, okay, that's fine. Um, that's good. You know, I can get through this on my own. So I see a lot of you are going to be just picking up and it's going to be starting just to do your own thing and uh, you know work with your uh, with, with your own um angels and guides and spirit guides and this is going to be good so the first week 19 until the 28th uh, you're dealing with the uranius energy which is group of people so you're having some sort of a situation on the work floor it's not bad it is just that um you don't think that the people on the work floor have the skill and knowledge that you need so that is where you're looking at you know should i you know, look for people who have the skill and knowledge that I'm looking for. So that sort of a thing. Then we look at the energy and, you know, it's a good week. 19 until 28 is a good week. Whatever is happening in Transpire is a very good week. So no need to worry about that. As we look at the um, the second week, the second week is from the 1st until the 7th. And the energy of that week is that definitely you're recognizing that people do not want to work and collaborate with you and you're going to be recognizing it's okay you know i don't really need you on my team i just uh, you just want people who have the skill and knowledge and if you don't want to be on my team it's okay it's super cool um you know uh, no problem well you know we're good no problem it is just um really good and really positive so you know you could be receiving some sort of a message that uh, um 
you know, some people are leaving the department or people are leaving the company for whatever the reason, or um, you could be re recognizing that people don't want to work with you anymore. And you're going to be thinking now it's school. I don't need you anywhere. Um, you know, I can do this on my own. So however it is coming up and it's the strength sparring, it's as if it's a blessing in disguise. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, and however things are going to be doing, it's like this um, um, Pisces season is like a blessing in disguise. And this blessing in disguise is going to be helping a lot of you to recognize um, that it's good just to um, just be there for yourself and um, knowing that, hey, I have the skill and knowledge. I really don't need the help or um, that other people... I really, really don't need help. So, you know, this is going to be good and it's going to be really wonderful and positive because you're going to be recognizing, hey, I'm cool. I really don't need help. And you're going to be looking at an, a different direction in order to move in. And this is going to be um, good. So a wonderful alignment of energies. And this is going to be very, very positive because people are going to be recognizing that, hey, you don't make a fuss. You just get with the program, do your thing, and you just move forward. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Wow. So it's like this period is this the spicy spirit is going to be helping a lot of you. When we look at the third week, eight until the 14, we have some sort of a situation that is incomplete and I see that you have to complete some sort of a situation with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Um, a lot of you Sagittarian have uh, some sort of a un, uh, unfinished business with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman. And I see that you're trying to balance out the situation and it's trying to rebalance a situation that you have created um, some sort of a problem for this person in the past and you're trying to rebalance this. And I see that you try to work against this person in the past and now people are recognizing that you were the one that has been behind um, some sort of an issue for this lady business and this lady corporation. And, um, you know, whoever this person is, it could be another supervisor that you have been working against. And they're going to be recognizing this. So I see in the third week, eight, uh, eight, um, eight till 14th of, uh, um, March, they're going to be recognizing, um, and you are going to be recognizing, hey, I gotta complete the situation because I, you know, I have created this, um, mess so you know i have to rebalance this mess out and recognize what i have done so um there is a lot of situation um that is happening and transpiring and in school um you know you're realizing that i need to complete this this thing keeps on going and going and going and it is time that i really do complete the situation or else um i'm you know i'm going to have some sort of a problem at work or with my career moving forward. So I see that you, um, Sagittarian, is recognizing that a situation needs to be balanced out and you are the one that needs to balance out the situation. However way you look at it, you're going to be recognizing I really got to balance out the situation because I am creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems and I have done it in the past. I need to balance and end it in a um, the week of the 8th until the 14th, okay? As we look at the last and final week, the week of the 15th until the 20th of March, I see um, uh, you um, are going to be confronted with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman. Whoever this woman is and whatever is transpiring, I see this woman is going to be standing her ground against you. So it could be another supervisor. It could be um, a... A partnership um, and this partnership however it is going and whatever is transpiring with this partnership with this person I see this person is going to be letting you know that there's an incomplete business that needs to be completed and they're going to be standing their ground and expect that this so you know it could be a supervisor it could be um, that you're in partnership with this person however way it is coming up and it is transpiring you recognize that this situation needs to be resolved this is um water of earth this uh, is uh, 
Earth of Earth, this, this, this Capricorn person is Earth of Earth. So this Capricorn person is sitting good. You're fire. So you take on to anything that is going on. But this person is sitting strong. This person have knowledge and wisdom that can back them and is showing it up. And you are now at a stage that you're recognizing, I got to complete this thing. I have no win in this thing. And it's better for me to complete this thing because it is going to be costing me my career or my reputation moving forward. So a lot of you are trying to work against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person in the past and an older person is going to be coming in and said, you need to clean up your mess, okay? Because you have made a mess of things and you need to clean it up and balance it out. A lot of you, I see that a lot of you could be taking on the energies of this earth, earth, earth to heart um, person because this earth to earth person is like taking on the boss, the and, you know, bring it back because this earth earth person is like Saturn. Um, they they bring back discipline in cooperation institution, and I see that you are going to be um connected. Um, whether you are the one that is using the frequency and energy of this earth or earth person, or this earth or earth person is going to be coming in and said, "Listen, Sagittarian, you have created a complete mess in the past. We got to resolve this thing, and we got to end it in um, this week of fifteenth to twentieth of March." So, um, it is, you know, it's as if, uh, um, it is like bringing back balance. It's like understanding, bringing back uh, balance recognizing where you are and and representing yourself in a very positive way in order to create some sort of a completion to some sort of a situation that was going on. So here we see the energies and we're recognizing that you have to content and confront a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person is going to confront in you in the end and is going to be showing up in the week of the 15th to the 20th and they sit strong. They're not in the reverse. They sit strong. They're sitting down doing their work and recognizing the play that has been transpired. They sit strong and they're going to be um, standing their ground so in order for a situation to be resolved. I got to go. I say namaste. Remember, in order to choose one of the symbols, um, you have to look at the bottom and recognize what is happening and what is transpiring. You get to choose a symbol in order to accelerate and know what it is you need to do in this uh, um, Pisces season. Remember, it's a season. It's not a month. There is no... E-cups in the season, things are going to be rolling, flowing because you have um, earth. Um, the, the second week, third week and fourth week is about earth. And you have a, a really positive situation. This is a really positive season for you guys. It's about clarity and this is going to be good. I got to go. Namaste until next time.